Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Our topic for today is Syndrome of Inappropriate Antidiuretic Hormone. I'll try my best to make it simple and understandable. So if you're ready, let's start! Let me first discuss the brief anatomy and physiology that is relevant to our topic. Normally, posterior pituitary gland secretes antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin. It's a hormone made by the hypothalamus in the brain and is stored in the posterior pituitary gland. ADH is responsible for controlling the kidneys to conserve water and it also regulates the amount of water in the blood. In the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, there is an increase or overproduction of antidiuretic hormone causing the body to retain too much water. This will now result to fluid retention and fluid overload. Etiology Usually, the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone occur as a secondary effect from another disease process such as CNS disturbances like infection, trauma, brain tumor, or stroke. Malignancies Lung cancer is the most common followed by colon cancer and lymphoma. Drugs or medications like carbamazepine, cyclophosphamide, and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor or the SSRI. These kinds of drugs enhance the release or effect of antidiuretic hormone. Next is pulmonary diseases like COPD and pneumonia. Hormone deficiency, and it can also be hereditary. Diagnostic procedures. Complete medical history and physical examination. Blood tests to measure the sodium and osmolality. Lastly, is the urine-specific gravity. Key manifestations. Abnormal weight gain. Hyponatremia with decreased serum osmolality. There is a decrease in serum sodium concentration because of excessive water in the body. High urine osmolality. The urine is concentrated because there is too much water in the blood and it is not excreted properly. Due to severe hyponatremia, altered mental status such as confusion, irritability, or agitation may occur. It can also lead to seizure, coma, or even death. Treatment Administration of loop diuretics like furosemide. Demeclocycline is also given to inhibit the action of ADH in the kidney. Nursing management Monitor the fluid intake and output of the patient. Daily weight monitoring. Restrict or limit fluid intake as indicated. Assess the mental status regularly. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.